Hello, Idalia. Nice seeing you again. And Lydia, nice to see you. How are you, Dalia? Guys, um, can you hear me? Dalia, can you hear me? Lydia? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. How are you, Lydia? Did you Fine. get better? Yeah, a little bit better. All right. Thank you for being here. I know that you're 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 sick. All okay. right. Uh, so we're just we're we're just gonna wait for everybody else. I'm sending them a message right now, guys. If you receive a message right now, that's because I'm broadcasting the message to everyone. Okay. Um. So give me one sec. What about you, Idalia? Can you hear me? All right, so I already sent the messages. Okay, guys, so question for you. Um, did we finish, did we finish section one? Did we finally finish section one? Like completely? Yes, yes, no, yes. I didn't. What would happen, Lydia? Uh, uh, I went to the doctor, so no me quedo tiempo, la verdad. Okay, great. Um, I, I really needed to finish the platform, not because, um, because they're, you know, they're asking me, right? You might receive emails asking you to finish the section number one. So I know that you've been sick, so I understand, but uh, please finish it. If you can't finish it today, finish it today, please, right? Okay. Uh, like that's that's the most important thing. Like the platform is like the most important thing here, okay? So so if you can't, just finish it today. All right, um, same for you, Dalia and Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa, nice to see you again. How was your, how was your party yesterday? Yesterday, yes, whole week. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been partying the whole week, right? <laughs> how, how, yes, how was your family reunion? It was good. It was good. Yeah. Okay. You you got people coming from other countries or just uh, within the same? I mean, just, within El Salvador. Just my aunt. She came from Costa Rica. Oh, nice. I'm yeah. planning on um, visiting Costa Rica soon. Nice. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. David, welcome. Toma Macho Thomas Machado, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Eli, welcome. Hey, uh, Thomas, did you finish section number one? Um, yeah, well, I'm stuck with the, right, with the written part and I don't find the classes on YouTube. Um, I found a lot of them, but I don't find the, the right, the one that I missed, so. Okay, I keep you know, all, yeah. all, all classes are uploaded every day. Okay. Uh, you, you, you will have to watch like probably the whole class. But if you need help, like if you don't find it for real, uh, send me a WhatsApp message so I can help you with the answers, okay? Okay, sounds good. All Thank right, you. very good, guys. So let's continue, guys. So we're today, guys, we're going to see. All right. We saw, uh, we saw present perfect versus simple present before, guys. So what was the difference between them two? What was the one thing that that set them apart between simple present? I mean, between uh, simple past and present perfect. You remember? Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. The one thing that set them apart, guys. Remember, it was that you could be specific about time, right? You could set a specific time if you were talking about present perfect or simple past? Okay. Uh, 
with simple past. Simple past. Simple past, right? Okay, so you can't use simple present with a, spe with a specific time reference. Very good. So today, guys, we're going to review uh, present perfect versus present perfect continuous. Now, present perfect, you know that we use it for, right, for experiences, yes? We use it for talking about experiences and not something uh, with a specific time frame, right? Very good. Now, present perfect continuous, guys, on the other hand, all right, is used for uh, temporary situations. It's used for what? Temporary, temporary situations. Situation. Okay, so temporary situations that we have not completed yet. Okay, so, you know, they still have, you, we're still doing them in the present, okay? All right, that's why it's called continuous because it's a continuous action. That started in the present or it started in the past? What do you think? So the continuous action, guys, did it start in the present or in the past? It started in present. the past. It started in the, in the past, guys, okay? No, it started in the past, started okay? In the past. It continues, right? It continues in the present, but it started in the past, okay? So that's, uh, that's a real difference. Okay, very good, guys. So let's take a look at the first examples to see what we're talking about here. Uh, David, let's go. Help me read the first one. Where... Um, that's there a, has been a big selling. line. Hold on. Okay. That's a, very good. All right. So let's go. Let's read this one. <clears throat> Adol has, uh, Adol has been selling all, all detention temporary situation. Okay. Right. Let's try. Okay. Remember, try to make to do to to open your mouth your mouth wide when you talk so you can pronounce the right vowels. Right. A dog has been stealing all the attention. Okay. So. If I say a dog has been stealing all the attention, is this something, guys? Does that sound like something that that's, that that is you know that continue that continues to happen up until now? What do you think? Yeah, because yeah, because he has been stealing all this uh, attention. So basically, keep stealing the 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 attention. Um, it's a temporary solution, so. Hmm. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I like that answer. It's 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 temporary, right? It's, it will not be happening forever, okay? Let me share the white word with you, okay? So we have a timeline, okay? We're gonna have, let me do it like straighter, very good. So we have a timeline, guys, okay, of, again, let's use the present, okay, the future, all right, and let's use, and let's use the past, right? Very good, guys, so. Now, the action, guys, started when, okay? If I say, let's, let's talk about the example that we just saw, okay? So, um, a dog has been stealing all the attention. When do you think that the action started happening? In the past. Okay, very good. So, it started happening in the past, right? Was that a continuous action in the past? Or yes, what? and yeah, you've been a continued action till the present, I think. Okay, right, so let's, okay, so we're going to have a dog here, okay, so the action, okay, happened. Okay, let's pretend that the action, guys, was happening here, okay? So it was a continuous action, okay? So the action was in the past, okay? So this was the start, okay? This was the start of the action, okay? Now, it kept moving forward until we reach the present, okay? So it kept, uh, kept moving forward. So now we're in the present and, okay, the action is still, is still here, okay? So now, so the dog, ha the, the dog started getting all the attention in the past and now he still continues to get all the attention. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, very good, right? So here you are, right? You are, okay, you are a little Cheyenne, okay? So here you are in the present, right? Here you are in the present, right? And the dog still gets all the attention. Even though you're Cheyenne, right? You don't get all the attention. The dog, the dog gets all the attention, right? <laughs> all right, very good. All right, so let's get another example, right? The second example says, uh, I've always served with my dog, okay? 
Now check this out, guys, okay? So if I say, I've always, right? Remember, I've is a contraction of what? I have. Very good, okay? Have. Surfed, right? I've always surfed um, with my dog. Wait, with my dog. <laughs> I was right with my dad. All right, if I've always surfed with my dog, okay? So now check this out, guys. Is this a temporary situation, right? Present perfect continuous, guys. Okay, if I say um, that on the first in the first example, a dog has has been stealing all the attention, right? A dog has been stealing all the attention. Okay, in this example right here, okay, we're talking about a permanent or temporary situation. Temporary. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so it is. Okay, it's a temporary, all right, it's a temporary situation. Now, now, if I say I've always surfed with my dog, first off, what tense is this, guys? Is this present perfect continuous or is this present perfect? It's present perfect. Present perfect. Okay, it is present perfect, right? So in this case, guys, okay, is this, this, is, is this a temporary situation? If no. you say I've always surfed no. with my dog? No, right, it's a no. permanent no. situation, okay? So we can conclude, guys, okay? Before, okay, we said that the difference between simple past and present perfect was that you could add a time reference, right? Very good. Now, the difference between this is that if you use present perfect continuous, it's a temporary situation. While on the other hand, if you use present perfect, uh, present perfect only, right? It's a permanent situation right i've always served with my dog would be a uh, temporary situation i mean a, a permanent situation sorry okay now next example says maggie has been amazing maggie has been amazing visitors has been amazing visitors by painting for her supper okay all right so let's use this okay so maggie oops jesus christ maggie has been <laughs> Amazing visitors by what? Maggie has been amazing visitors painting. by painting for her, her supper. By painting for her supper. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> All right. All right. So now, guys, now, uh, is this person perfect or is this present perfect continuous? Present perfect. Present perfect continuous. Very good. Okay, it is present perfect continuous. Good job. All right. So is this a temporary or is this a permanent situation? Temporary. Okay, this is a temporary situation, right? Temporary. Very good job, right? Now, when did it start? Did it start in the past or did it start in the present? Starting in the past. Okay, it is it started in the past. Very good. Does it continue in the present? Yes. Mm, yes. Very good job, okay? Very, very good job, all right? Good job. If I say, if I've locked my keys in the car, okay, let's take a look at the other example. I've locked my keys in the car, okay? Now, what about these guys? Do you think that it's a temporary or permanent situation? Permanent situation. Okay, very good, okay? So it is a, all right, it's a permanent situation okay oops situation like that very good so yes guys it is a permanent situation because we're talking in present perfect okay all right now uh that is the present perfect continuous okay all right now uh we use the present perfect guys with uh passive or stative verbs such as be love and have okay so let's get examples about that. Now, can I raise this, guys? Is this, is this part clear? Yes. All right. All right. I think it's, you know, I think it's very, very understandable, okay? So if I say, guys, okay, remember. So passive verbs, guys, okay? Passive verbs, verbs or stative verbs, they're, you know, um, passive verbs, guys, are verbs that are not really, um, that do not represent a physical action, okay? So for example, love. Okay, love is a noun, but it's also a verb, right? Because I can say, I love you, right? So, but now, can I represent, is love like running, guys? Can you represent 
love can you can you do the action of loving someone well, you may, right? Yeah, but it's yeah, not that type yeah. No, 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 no. It's not that type of action, dude. No, no, no. I mean, you can kiss a person. That yeah. means love, right? Yeah, okay. No, no. That Well, yes, but that's very that's the philosophical meaning of that, right? No. Oh, okay. Uh, love, right, does not have a physical action, right? Right? Okay. So it's not, it's not what you're thinking, okay? <laughs> I love is just, it's just like an idea. That's why it's called, it's a steady verb, okay? Or a passive verb, okay? Because you do not, it's not like running, right? If you, if I say run, if I say run, right? That's a verb that you can represent, right? You can start running, okay? But love, guys, you cannot start. How do you represent the love with an action, right? All right? And, you know, like like literally, not, not philosophically, right? So, uh, so the verb be, guys, is exactly the same. It's a stated verb, right? Because it represents a state, okay? It represents how you feel, okay? Uh, loving and having, guys, okay? Because you cannot represent have. How do you represent have? You can't, right? It's just like another idea, right? So that's, uh, that's another, guys. Um, that's another passive verb, okay? So now... All um, present perfect guys can be used with passive verbs, okay? But why is this important, okay? So if I say, guys, I have always loved you, okay? So if I say, I have always loved you, all right, where is the passive verb here? Love. Okay, loved, right? Very good. Okay, I have always loved you. Now... Can I say, guys, okay, and this is the difference, right? Can I say I have always, right? I have always been loving you. Would this be correct? What do you think? Yes. Why? Why would it be correct? Because it is present perfect progressive. So it is correct. Uh, yes. Yes. Can yeah. it be? I have always been in love in with you? you. I mean, yeah, you can say I have always been in love with you, and that would be absolutely fine. But if I say I have always been loving you, okay, guys, love is a stated is um is is a stated verb. Okay, so stated verbs, guys, uh, they are they are if you use them with an with an, with the um, ing form, they would be incorrect because it's not something that you're doing at the moment, okay? People, some people talk like this, right? Like McDonald's, right? I'm loving it, okay? But mm -hmm. saying I'm loving it, it's incorrect. It's, it's grammatically incorrect, okay? All right, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like when we talk in Spanish, right? We make a lot of grammar mistakes here, especially in El Salvador, guys. We don't know how to talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's true, guys, we don't know, okay? All right, we don't know how to talk, I'm sorry. Um, but, Okay, but uh, but it is grammatically incorrect, okay? You will say, I have always loved you. No, I have always been loving you because you can use the ing form of the verb when it is an action verb, such as running. I have always been running, okay? This would be correct. Why? Can you represent, can you represent an action verb, guys? Can you actually represent with a physical action yeah. an action verb? Yes, right? So in that case, guys, you would be able to say, I have always been running, but not I have always been loving you. Because that would be, you know, if somebody tells you that, it's like, mm -mm, stop, okay? You don't know grammar? Bye-bye. Next, right? So, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so, so it's like, right? It's, it's, like, it's like people who don't know how to write with uh, good grammar in Spanish, right? It's like, okay, you know what? Sorry, goodbye. All right, very good, guys. So, all right, so let's let's get more examples, okay? So, what about what about the other verbs that we're talking about? What about have? If I say Cheyenne, all right, we had to use Cheyenne today too, guys. Okay, Cheyenne has always um, has always been having. A good time. Would it be correct? I'm sorry, not always question. Been. No question. Cheyenne has always been having a good time. Does that sound right to you? 
What do you think, guys? All right, Vanessa says no, it doesn't sound right. What do you think, Lydia? David? Miguel? Mm, not always, because has always been having a good time. Uh, but I think it's incorrect. Okay, it's incorrect right. because basically, you, yeah, you're saying that he's always been having a good time. And whoever, like, even if you are an actor, you're not going to be happy all the time. There's no, 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 but that, that's, that's not, okay, that's not the point, okay? You're, you're, uh, you're going, like, into a different type of uh, situation. Having, guys, let's talk about the, the verb having. Can you represent? Can you represent having with your hands? That this is a trick, guys. If you can represent with your hands, you know, if you can represent, because if I say walking, okay, I do this and that, okay, it's an action verb. If I say swimming, right, it would be like this, right, and that represents an action verb. If I say talking, I do this and that represents an action verb. So but what about get, having? Getting, and we will we'll be using. Cheyenne has been getting a good time. Okay, you can use has been getting a good time, okay? But having, guys, I, the thing is that I want you to understand why having would be incorrect. Why, why would it be a, uh, an incorrect verb, all right? Because having, guys, okay, having is not an action verb, right? How do you represent have? Like tener, how do you represent tener? What is the action of tener? There is no action, right? It's impossible to... It's impossible to make a physical action out of having, okay? So if it is not an action verb, guys, if it is if it is either love, if it is either have or be, guys, okay, then you do not use present perfect progressive, but instead you use you use what? Mm-hmm. The topic that we just uh, reviewed, guys. Actually, the topic, one of the topics that we're seeing too, the topic that we're comparing it with. Vanessa, uh -huh. so what topic do we use, Vanessa? I mean, what, what tense do we use? Okay. Thomas, what tense do we use? What, what two tenses are we comparing, guys? Come on, it's, it's like it was at the beginning of the class. Um, Lydia, which which stance is permanent? Which stance is permanent? Okay. What tense do we use for permanent things? We just saw it, guys. I even, I even gave you an example here and I gave you multiple examples, permanent, temporary, permanent, temporary, tem permanent, per temporary, okay? So Vanessa, what is it? I'm sorry, I'm not here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, very good guys, we use present perfect. We use what? Present perfect. Present perfect, okay? All right, don't forget that because we just saw it like five minutes ago, guys, okay? And I gave you a lot of examples, okay? So we use present perfect. So Cheyenne has always what? Has always present Has always we been, use, use, has, has always been a good singer? Okay, I mean, yeah, you can say has always been a good singer, but I want you to use the verb have. What is the past participle of have? Have, has always have. have Very had, good. Great songs. Okay, right, has always had great songs. Very good job, guys. Good job, and applause for you. Beautiful, guys, take notes, please, okay? All right, because otherwise you will not understand how to finish the platform, all right? So very important, guys, take notes and ask questions. Okay, guys, do you have any questions so far? So far, so good, or do you have a question? All right, very good. So let's uh, let's let's continue, okay? All right. So we were talking about present perfect, okay? So what do we use present perfect for, uh, Lydia? Help me read. To talk about things where there is a connection between the past and the future. The okay. Mother? 
Very good, very good. Okay, between the past and the future. Okay, the other, yeah, continue. He has started writing books at some time in the past. So far, he has written 16 books. He may write more books. Okay, very good. Okay, pronunciation, written. Repeat, written. 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 Okay, written. he has written 16 books. He may write more books. Okay, so here, guys, okay, here you can see the connection between the past and the future, okay? All right, so when I say has, guys, okay, the action was completed at some point in the past, okay? All right, what does this mean? Remember, experiences, right? Present perfect is, ex is experiences. Okay, so now, all right, this is the statement that we're doing in present perfect to talk about, the, you know, with a, with a result in the future, all right? So according to the statement that we got here, what is the action in the past and what is the action that, you know, um, that might result in the future. Uh huh. That is right. Let's, let's go. David. All right. Whoever wants to answer, guys, go ahead. Participate. Writing. Okay. Very good. Writing. Okay. Very good. So. Uh, when when did he start to write? Was it in, in the, the past? In the past. Very good job, okay? So if I say he's starting writing book at some point in the past, so far he has written 16 books, okay? So it means that he might continue writing in the future, right? Mm -hmm. Right, it's a possibility, okay? All right, so don't get confused, guys. We do, we not, we do not use present perfect for talking about an action that might happen in the future all the time, okay? Remember, present perfect can be used for experiences too, right? Oh, I have, I have watched that movie, right? If I say I have watched that movie, does it mean that I'm going to watch it again in the future? It depends. You will like it. <laughs> well, yeah, if I like it, right? But if I, if, I, if I just say that, okay, it doesn't mean that I'm going to watch it in the future, right? Hey. It means that I might not watch it in the future because I have already watched it. Um, all right, so if you want to put it like that, then yeah, it has a... It has a result in the future, right? The result is that I'm not going to keep on watching it, okay? Very good. All right. So, um, is this part clear, guys? Is it clear why, why you know, it sometimes have a um, result in the future? Yes. If I say I have not seen you for a very long time, what is the action? What is the representation? What is the result in the future? Well, what, well, you are describing that you haven't seen us for a long time, but you are seeing us right now. So uh, it's something like uh, talking about the present. And um, okay, um, very yes. good. It had a result. It had a result uh -huh. in the present, right? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. All right, there is a result in the present. Okay. All right, very good. So uh, if I said, if I said, um, you, uh, no, 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 David, okay, David has not done his homework. Is there a result in, in the present? Yeah, because he hasn't done his homework. So basically he, has, he doesn't have any answers at very the good. moment. So up to this point, okay. So if we're talking about the present, guys, Yes, there is always a result in the present, okay? The result is that David would have to do his homework because he has not done it, right? So if we're talking about that present, then yes, there is an action, you know, uh, there is a connection in the present, okay? All right, very good. Uh, so do me a favor, guys, everybody send me an example of present perfect in the chat room right now, okay? And I'm gonna be asking each of you you have 10 seconds to answer. Let's start with the first person that it sees, Vanessa. Vanessa, give me a sentence in present perfect. Go. Uh, I've been partying the whole week and I will, the next week, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I've been partying the whole week. I've been partying the whole week is present perfect yeah. continuous, not present perfect, right? Right, present perfect, I, I have partied the whole week. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. So give me another example. Come on. 
not me, please. <laughs> All right, you can do it. I, I know that you can do it. Let's go. All right. Did you watch the class from yesterday? I did it today, but I forgot. I'm sorry, I cannot remember these things. It's really hard for me. Okay, all right. Uh, do me a favor, just take notes and, listen, and take a look at the examples and then we're gonna ask you again, okay? Thomas, all right, give me another example in present perfect. I've been working the whole week, I'm tired. Okay, That's very that. good job, okay? I've been working the whole week. Is that present perfect or present perfect continuous? Present perfect continuous because I'm doing the working part, the ING. Very good job. Okay, so all right now give me an example in present perfect. I have I have worked the whole week. I have worked the whole week. Okay, very good. Okay, Lydia, let's go. Give me another example. And everybody else send me an example in the chat room, please. Okay. Uh -huh. He has broken his leg. He has broken his legs. Very good. Okay, David, let's go. Another one. David. Oh, David, I think he's, he left for some reason. Miguel, give me another one. You, oh, you're muted, sir. You probably have uh, a good answer, but you're muted. I have read quite a few novels right now. Okay, I have read quite a few novels so far. So All right, All right very good, okay. Uh, let's see, Armando, All right, give you another example, Armando. All right, guys, do me a favor, keep, send me, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write you here, guys, okay? Send me examples, okay? And the chat room, all right? Very good. So everybody else who is not participating right now, send me examples in the chat room, okay? All right, so Armando, let's go. He has played Among Us all the morning. Okay, he has played Among Us all morning. Very good, okay? Lydia, good job. I had lost my book. Uh, Eli Arvarez, give me another example. Ellie, you there? Okay. No, teacher, I'm working. Oh, yeah, 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 you're working, you're right. Um, okay, very good, very good, okay, don't worry about that. Okay, so uh, let's see, so far I've, I've gotten uh, examples from Armando and Miguel. Both of them are absolutely correct, okay? All right, so uh, I had finished the example and was about to send it. Oh, okay, right, that's... <laughs> I, I had finished this past perfect, okay? It's not present perfect, all right? Very good, but uh, but good job, good job, good job, okay? All right, so uh, Vanessa, are you ready? Nope. All right, okay, so uh, take a look at the examples, okay? All right, and uh, let's try to do the, did you, did you finish the section number one, Vanessa? Yes, I did. Okay, very good, very good, very good, okay. All right, good job, guys, okay, so uh, good examples, guys, good examples, so let's move on to the present perfect continuous form, okay? All right, guys, so uh, let's take a look at these examples and let's try to identify which ones are present perfect and which ones are present perfect continuous. All right, so if I say I have painted the living room blue, is that present perfect or present perfect continuous? Present perfect. Okay, that is present perfect, right? All right, the structure is of a present perfect form, okay? If I say, I have been decorating the house this summer, is that present perfect or present perfect continuous? Present perfect continuous. Okay, it's present perfect continuous. Very good job, all right? So, uh, why, is the, why is the second one present perfect continuous, guys? Because uh, we are, the, the uh, decorating we are using ing uh, very good oh, job really yeah. okay all right so you're gonna notice guys that the present perfect continuous will always have the verb ben okay that is being past participle right and it will always be in the ing form okay decorating all right very good guys so all right so uh so the first example guys okay it focuses on the result right 
the activity is finished, then we can see the result now. So I have painted the living room. Did the, did the activity finish uh, here, guys? Did, did it finish? If I say I have painted the I have painted the living room. Did it finish? I have painted. I have painted, not painting. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, I have painted the living room blue. Yes, he already finished, so it's done. Okay, all right. And now, so if somebody has painted the living room, can we see the result of the, the room being painted? Yeah. Yes, right? If yeah, somebody paints your living room, guys, and then- You see the color. Okay, you see, you the, see the color, right? So if it happened, if somebody painted your living room, you can see the result now, okay? All right. What about if I, if I tell you, uh, hey, I have bought some food. Okay, so I went to the supermarket and I, and, I, and I have bought some food. Okay, so now, what is the result of me having bought food? What the result? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when did I buy food? Did I buy it in the past or did I buy it in the present? I have I have bought food. You bought it on the present, so it's present I, perfect. I, I no, I bought it on, in the past. Okay, I oh, have past. bought food already. Oh, okay, right? yes. Okay, and the result now is that we have food. Okay, so we can get fatter. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, so now what about this one? I have been decorating the house this summer. Okay, now the focus here is not on the result, guys. The focus is on the action. Okay, all right. Now decorating. What, what if I say that I have been decorating? Did I finish decorating the house, guys? Mm, no, right. It's no. an action that I'm still doing. If I say I have been painting the house, is it is it is it an action that I have already finished? No, when you say painting, you have, you still have you haven't done it yet, so you're still working on it. Okay, very so. good. So it means that yes, you're right about that. It means that you're still working on it. Okay, beautiful, guys. Okay, all right. Is this part clear, guys? Clear, so clear, clear. Okay, all right. Very good, very good, very good, okay. All right, guys, so let's move on then, okay? All right, uh, where's the other one? Okay, so we have more examples here, guys, okay? So if I say, guys, I've read the book that, uh, the book that you lent me, all right? Uh, did that action finish? Yeah, he already done it, so. Okay, very good. He has already, he has already done it, right? Okay, now, um, so what is the result? The result uh, is he, that he, he completed. He finished it. Yeah, he finished it yesterday. Very so good. He completed the book. Okay, so he completed the book, right? If I say I've been reading that book that you lent me, David Hiron, is that an action that has finished or has not finished? Yeah, the second one, the. The present perfect one. Yeah, the present perfect continuous example, yes. Yes, I have been reading that book you lent me. Is okay. Continue, but he's not done yet. Is he yeah, that's that's my question. Is he done? Is he is he done yet or is he not uh, done? Not yet. Done yet. So what do you think? He said oh. uh not finished yet. All right, he hasn't finished, right? Uh -huh. He hasn't finished reading the book yet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So same with the other. So same with the other examples, right? She's been writing emails for three hours. What is that? Present perfect or present continuous? Present continuous. Okay. Because she's she has I been mean, doing I mean, it. Present perfect or present perfect continuous. Not present oh, continuous. Present, present, perfect, present, perfect, continuous. present perfect continuous because she's still doing it. Okay, right. Notice she's, something she's here, guys. Be, she's yeah. been writing emails for three hours, but she hasn't finished yet. So very good job. Okay, now notice this here, guys. Okay, that as right there, guys. Okay, the contracted form. All right. Has. That is has. No, it's not is. Okay, that is has. She has been writing been emails for writing. three hours. Okay. All right, so it's not is, it's has instead, right? So uh, what about this, okay? Is this present perfect or present perfect continuous? Armando, she has written, she's, she's has, 
Uh, now this is wrong, guys. Okay, there shouldn't be. You, she it's has either written. she, it's either she's written or uh -huh. she has written. Okay, but this she is has, incorrect here. She has okay. written. She has written ten messages. Or you can say she's written. Okay, this would be correct too. She's written ten messages. Okay, so she's written ten messages. What is that? Present perfect or present continuous? Present perfect. Okay, it is present perfect, right? She has right. already done. It. She has already done it. Very good job. Okay, she has already done it. Thank you, Armando. <laughs> Don't worry, Thomas. Okay, you're good, Thomas. All right, I like your participation a lot. Okay, Armando. Okay, so let, next one is let's see, leave for Armando. Okay, I've worked here for 30 years. So, what is that, Armando? He's present perfect. Okay, all right. So that is present perfect. You're right about that. Okay. Now, what we'll tell you guys if you're using, all right, just a tip, guys. Okay. All right, let's write down a tip here. What we'll tell you if you're using present perfect or present continuous is the ing verb. Okay. If there is no verb in ing, guys, it is present perfect. It is not present perfect continuous. Got it? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right, very good. Okay. All right. All right, so this is present perfect, okay? Um, if I say, but I've been working in San Francisco for the last three weeks. Is that person still working in San Francisco, Vanessa? If I say, I've been working in San Francisco for the last three weeks, what do you think? Uh, maybe. Okay. What do you think, um, Lydia? Has that person been working in San Francisco? Is, is that person still working in San Francisco? I think that yes. Okay, very good. What do you think, David? Initially work. Okay, so I've been working in San Francisco for the last three weeks. What do you think? Is that person still working in San Francisco? Yes. Yes, guys, okay, it's not a maybe, it's not a no, it's a yes. Why, guys? Guys, if somebody tells you, mira, he estado trabajando en San Salvador estas ultima, eh, por las últimas tres semanas, all right? Is that person still working in San Salvador? Even in Spanish, guys, si yo te digo, he estado trabajando en San Salvador, all right, es, eh, por las últimas tres semanas, Estoy yeah, trabajando still working yes, yeah, it's guys. Present okay. continuous. All right, it's present, present perfect, perfect continuous. continuous, okay? All right, perfect so, continuous. okay, so yes, that person is still working there. Now, remember that is, uh, that is something temporary, right? Temporary versus permanent, okay? Which is the main different difference between the topics, okay? All right. All right, guys, any questions so far? Super, so good. Okay, so let's practice, guys. I'm gonna give you, um, I'm gonna give you guys um, ten minutes to practice. Um, no, you know what? Actually, guys, let's have five minutes to practice, and then we're gonna have five minutes extra, guys, to complete the exercise 2.5. Okay, so working couples, guys, and you're gonna complete the exercise 2.5. Got it? Got it. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, let's get to work. All right. All right. Okay, Hello. guys, so uh, so the question that you're gonna practice, guys, is what have you been doing lately, okay? I'm gonna send it in the chat right now. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go to the other groups and uh, so we can practice that. But I, I, All right, guys. I, so, so the question that we're going to be practicing, guys, aside from doing the exercise, is what have you been doing lately, okay? 2.5, right? Yes. I sent, uh, yes, 2.5. And the question is, what have you been doing lately, okay? So I sent the question, guys, in the chat room. So if you want to see it, okay. What have you been doing? 
All right, guys, so aside from the exercise, guys, the question that you're going to be practicing is going to be what have you been doing lately, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Mugle first. The what? Oh, you want to go first. All right, very good. Oh, you want to go? Been... <laughs> okay. Let's see. I have been playing a couple of games. I also have been reading, like, Let's see, today I read uh, like five new chapters for, of two novels that I'm reading. <laughs> okay. How about you? Well, I've been really busy this week. Um, went out with my friends, different friends, like the whole week, because I'm from San Miguel, but mm. right now I am in San Salvador, so they taking me out like almost every night, so I'm sorry. I've That's been, good. yeah, I've been really busy attending um, these reunions. You mean, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, one thing, one thing, one, one thing, Vanessa, I, I understand yeah. that, that you're very busy and everything, all right? Yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot go back into the topics, right? Because according yeah, I know, to- I know. Cause, cause, cause the thing is that first of all, I, I, I worked like 12 hours actually. I know. Like 14 hours. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not asking you for you to do that because I'm watching the videos on YouTube. Okay. Very so good. So don't worry. By the way, I finished the, the, this exercise. Very the good. thing is <laughs> that, yeah, but the thing is that, uh, it's really hard for me to remember things. Okay. Even in, even in Spanish. So. I'm sorry, it's really hard. No, no, I'm, grammar yeah. when it's, it's like that. Yeah. It's okay, like we're, when we're yeah. learning, it's like that. I was just gonna so, say, I was just gonna say the most important thing is that you finish the platform, okay? Yeah, uh, 100%. But I'm, That's... I'm, I'm like on time, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Very good, very good. All right, then there is no problem. As long as you finish the platform, it's okay, right? I know. Very good. All right, so continue guys, and uh, I'm gonna check on other people, right? Very okay. good, thank you, Vanessa. Okay. It's part of toxic things, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, we have to try to stay away from toxic people or toxic yeah, advices. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, like I, like I said before, I have been listening to a good, a good advices, uh, some speakers that inspire you to continue your, your journey and never give up and never surrender. I have been practicing my cooking skills. I have been listening to and reading some books uh, that give you a good advice on how to make make your own menu and yes so hopefully one day I'm gonna have my own restaurant and what by then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna keep on practicing because as long as I practice I'm gonna get better have you lived and, in the United States Thomas yes I was there I lived there since 2000 until 2008 yeah, yeah I, 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 I I fairly I I I really remember, I actually remember that, that you told me about that is because you're very fluent. You have each, yeah. you have like, like the, the thing that you have is that the pronunciation of the, the, the consonant R, right? Yes. Cause you say like, right? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. you're very fluent. Yeah, I try my best and, and that's why I'm taking these classes because I want to improve. And I want to get better, you know, and having a degree have, make, it makes a better, a better change in our lives. It makes a difference. So. Very good. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. What about you, Lydia? What have you been up to lately? What? Can you repeat me, please? What, what have you been up to lately? It means what have you been doing lately? Um, I'll type in here. What? Have you been First, to? I try to, I have been trying to care my my body and my skin. To clear. Care. Oh, to, to take, uh, in that case is to take care of my body and my skin. Yeah, that's, and I Repeat have it. been reading. <laughs> Repeat it. I have been to try to take care about my body and my skin. Okay. Then I read, um, if I am, I have hungry, I ate some fruit. If I am hungry, I eat some fruit, okay. Yeah. Okay. I am hungry all the time, so <laughs> that is not new in, in my life. 
Well, I'm sorry, what is not near in your life? I have been angry all, all the time. So oh, that's <laughs> angry, like, okay, angry yeah, or that. hungry? Hungry. Oh, okay, right, it's different, right? Angry is like you're sorry, mad. My, pronunci my pronunciation is not good. It's okay, I mean, that's what we're here for too, so you can improve it, okay? All right, so I'm trying to help you improve your pronunciation. Okay, but yeah, uh, so you've been hungry all this time. Okay, what about you, Armando? Well, I have already finished my year, school year. Uh -huh. And so now that I'm in vacation, I have been reading and trying to learn, learn more things like I also have been watching series and podcasts on English. Okay. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to go back now, guys, to, uh, to solve the, the exercise together. Okay. Good job, guys. You're doing a good job. Thank you. All right. Welcome back, guys. Hey, I don't know why it took so long to get back to the main room. That's weird. All right, anyways, guys, so let's solve this together, okay? So many residents, who can give me the answer for, you know what, let's start from bottom to top. Ellie, what is the answer for number one? Ellie on five, four, three, two. All right, Lydia, what is the answer for number one, Lydia? I didn't do it, I say you. Oh, you haven't done this? Okay. All right, uh, but this, guys, we were supposed to do this like right now, right? <clears throat> now, uh, yes. Arma Armando, what is the answer for number one? Is have been. Okay, very good. So many residents have been homeless ever since last month's storm, okay? Very good. Uh, Miguel, number two. Have been staying. They have been staying. Very good. Present perfect progressive, right? Good job. Uh, Thomas, number three. Oh, you, oh, you're muted, Thomas. That's why I couldn't hear anything. Have been repaired. Have been repaired. Mm, yeah. All the crews did repair. The side was seeing us a lot week. Are you sure, guys? Is this the answer? I mean, remember, it could either be present perfect or present perfect progressive, right? But present have been repaired is neither of those because you need to use the ing form of the verb. Have repaired then. Have repaired. What do you think, guys? Is this the right answer? Although Chris have repaired the song. Have been repairing. Have been repairing. Okay, have been repairing, right? Repairing. Okay, All right. Because it says all week, guys. See. It says all week, so okay. that that's that means that the action, you know, still go uh, still continues up to this uh, up to today, you know. All right, so they still they still what? Uh, let's see. Have not sold. Okay, they still have not. They have not sold. Solved. The problems with long delays. Very good, all right? Uh, Vanessa, number five. Number five, um, police have been guarding the stores that the, that the thieves have not robbed yet. Very good job, okay? So what tells us that that's person perfect progressive guy, especially is this, have not, have not robbed yet. That means that they're still stealing, right? They're still stealing, but they have not robbed this specific store yet, all right? Uh, number six, uh, we're gonna go back as we finish. Uh, Miguel, number six. Have been plowing. Have, okay, have uh, been plowing, okay? Have been plowing the rows all night, but this, but some snow remains, okay? Plowing, guys, by the way, plowing is the action of, you know, getting rid of that snow, right? Now, they have been, oh hey, staying. Where, all right, staying, staying. right? Staying. They have been staying. I don't know what happened with the verb there. Okay, guys, so you got the answers there. Very well done, okay? 
Good, good job, guys. Okay, so that concludes the lesson for this, uh, for tonight, guys. Okay. All right, guys, a couple of things. Uh, the, the, some of you, I thank you very much, guys, for sending me the screenshots. The screenshot that I want, guys, is by, uh, is this one, okay? You go to progress, okay? You click on progress, and then you're going to have this, okay? So these, okay, where it says section one, this is what I want the screenshot for, okay? It has to be at 100%. If you take a look at mine, it says 40%, right? But yours has to be at 100%. If you have less than 100%, you're going to see the, the scores right here, right? So this tells you what, uh, what uh, exercises you have completed and what exercises you have not completed. So for example, I have completed exercise one here, but I'm not completed two or four, right? Now, the only exercises that matter, guys, are the exercises that give you score. Which ones? Which are the, the only? The ones that give you score? That get the ones that give you score, okay? All right, the ones that give you score, all right? So by the end of this week, guys, we will have to have finished, all right? Hey, uh, future perfect there. All right, uh, we will have to have finished, guys, section, not only section one, but section two as well, okay? All right, okay. so this has to be at 100%. So by tomorrow, guys, since tomorrow is Friday and we do have a class, all right, by tomorrow, um, actually today, guys, if you can do today, right, try to have section two completed. If not, you can do it until, until tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, uh, another thing, guys, uh, do join the class, guys, because, uh, English Cooperative is always going to be on top. If you need anything, guys, let me know. Um, Advanced usually don't have, you know, Advanced usually doesn't have a lot of students, guys. Um, but it's it's normal, okay? So if it has a few students, just join, guys, because the few students that we are, guys, uh, you know, have to be in the class, right? Because otherwise we'll, we'll not have a class, right? I have, uh, I have another class, guys, from Intermediate. I got 25 people every day. So, but that's a lot of people, right? So if I got 20... It doesn't matter because it's a lot of people, but you guys are not, I think that you guys are like 12 in total, 12 or 13, something like that, right? So please join guys, okay? All right, um, because at the end of the day, yeah, you can you can finish the platform and that's what matters, you know, that you finish the platform, but you know, take some time to learn, right? At the end of the day, you wanna learn, right? Very good guys, so thank you Vanessa, thank you David, Thomas, Armando, Lydia, uh, Miguel and Ellie for joining, Thomas, okay, very good. And uh, have a good night, guys. Take care. Thank you. Have a good, good night. night. You too, guys. Take care.